Timing diagram not just used for a timer. Logic circuits in a PLC ladder logic program are either on or off. The inputs change, which will affect the outputs. This can be expressed in a timing diagram. The timing diagram or chart will show you how the ladder logic program will respond to the changing states of the inputs and outputs. This visual method is an excellent way of understanding how the PLC ladder logic functions. We will discuss the timing diagram and how it is used for timers, counters, and ladder logic. This will help in understanding or troubleshooting your PLC programs. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you with video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. A timing diagram is a graphical method of showing the exact behavior of a logic circuit for every possible set of input conditions. It is often used because of its visual nature to show what is happening instead of a wordy explanation. As Fred R. Bernard stated, a picture is worth 10,000 words. The timing diagram inputs can be either on or off. This is represented on the timing diagram on the y-axis. Time is represented on the x-axis. In this example, you can see that power is turned on, then we have a start signal. During that leading edge of that start signal, we have a time duration before the output actually turns on. You will note that on the power line, when the power is off, there is no output that's on, and it all must have a start signal in order to activate that duration before the output actually does turn on. Also, it has special notes on this chart that says that the start input is invalid while the timer is in operation. Let's look at a few examples of timers in the PLC and what the timing charts will look like. We are using the Do More Designer Simulator for our examples. This is part of the free Do More programming software for the Do More PLC controllers like the Brix PLC. The Brix Do More series will take you through installing and using the ladder logic programming software. Here's the common timer or TMR instruction in the Do More PLC programming. The instruction will show the timing diagram for each of the selected timer instructions. You will see that there is an option to show the AB or Allen Bradley style timer structure bits. Do not get confused with some of the terminology. The timing diagram for the bits will explain their function. So the on delay timer or OND TMR instruction is used to delay turning on an output by accumulating time upward from zero toward a preset value then turning on the output. The instruction has a single ladder logic input leg that enables and resets the timer. If the input logic is on, the timer is enabled and will accumulate time upward from zero toward a preset value. When the preset value is reached, the output will come on and remain on until the input logic goes off. When the input logic is off, the timer will reset. The timer's accumulated value re will return to zero and the timer's associated structure fields will, will reset. If your input logic goes off before the timer preset is reached, the output will remain off. The off delay timer, or OFFD, TMR instruction is used to delay turning off an output by accumulating time downward from a preset value toward zero and then turning off the output. The instruction has a single ladder logic input that enables and resets the timer. The output will be latched on when the input transitions from off to on. When the input logic transitions off, the timer will begin timing. Once the preset value is reached, the output will turn off. Suppose the input logic comes back on before the preset value is reached, in that case the output will remain on and the timer will reset, meaning its accumulated value returns the preset value, and its associated structure members will reset. The up counter, CNT instruction, accumulates off to on state changes of input logic counting upward from zero toward a preset value. 
This instruction has two of the following ladder logic inputs. The first input is the up count input or UP. Each time this input transitions from off to on, the counter's accumulator will increment by one. The dumb bit will turn on when the accumulated value reaches the preset value. The second input is the count reset or RST. When this input logic is on, the counter will reset. The counter's accumulated value will return to zero and the counter will remain at the reset state as long as the reset input remains on. The reset input has priority over the up count input, meaning that if the up count input is on at the same time as the reset input, the counter will not count. You can clearly see this in the timing diagram for this counter. A timing diagram can be used to see the PLC inputs and how they will react within the PLC ladder logic. This is ideal for troubleshooting your PLC. Here is the simple PLC ladder logic rung. When X0 turns on, C0 turns on. Here's the timing diagram for the simple ladder logic circuit. You can see that the timing diagram explains everything about the circuit without putting in many words. This will account for the output state based on the input condition. The time base rate along the X axis in, is in scans of the PLC program when looking at the ladder logic timing chart. Let's look at another example of the ladder logic circuit. This time we will look at a start stop circuit using a set and reset instruction within the PLC. Here's my ladder logic. X6 on the leading edge will set output Y3 on the first rung. Y3 will be reset by X7 input. This timing chart shows you how the inputs react with the output and the timing diagram indicates that the leading edge or differential one-shot input will set the output. X7 will reset this output even though X6 gets triggered again. This benefits you because you know exactly how the circuit will respond in the field with every given situation. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.